Welcome to the show. My guest today, Chris Sambar, Senior Vice President, AT&T FirstNet. Chris, welcome to the discussion. Thank you. Glad to be here. And Stacey Schwartz, Vice President, AT&T Public Safety and FirstNet Solutions. Stacey, welcome to the discussion. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. We've seen too many cases where the bases have had problems, shootings, or what suspected shootings or, you know, discharge of guns and getting them on that one network, getting them that early warning, getting them the sensors to pick up. I, I think that that's a huge piece to it. Are you starting to get some, the, see that interest from duty or even other federal agencies about, oh, we could use FirstNet for that too? The, the best candidate that pops off the top of your head is the National Guard because they do help with domestic response. And then on all of the military bases around the country, our estimate is, that we've gotten from the military, there's, there's as many as 150,000 first responders on military bases that are military personnel, police, fire, emergency medical. And then a lot of these military bases, you know, they manage their own infrastructure, whether that's water power, et cetera. And they would all qualify as well. So our vision, and Stacy mentioned it earlier, interoperability is, is creating a network and a platform where everyone can talk and communicate to each other so that there's not this disjointedness. So I was with a um, three-star admiral. And they wanted to talk all about FirstNet, understand it. Um, they called us in to talk about it. Um, uh, it. It was a great conversation, and I think DOD is a massive organization. And they've got a lot of moving parts, but the word is starting to filter throughout where they're saying, wait a minute, there's a network that the federal government is overseeing and building just for us. How do we participate in it? Because I can bring together all of my communications, data communications on a secure platform. Tremendously valuable for DOD. The ability to provide situational awareness um, on the bases um, to whether it's the military police on the base or whether the military poli police or, or, um, have a dispatch center that's, that's doing early warning and going to the military police on the base saying, hey, I think something's going on in this corner of the base because a biological sensor just went off, radiological sensor just went off, and it's alerting the local authorities. And being able to put all that on a common platform mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about is it going to work when it's congested and there's a lot of people on the network or not. Um, when they can have real confidence in that, and then you can put the security aspect into it, and is it going to be on a secure network and we don't have to worry about someone hacking into it, um, that's a tremendous value uh, for public safety, both federal, state, local. Put it all together. <laughs> <laughs>